All right, class, so we're going to practice two of our ers, and then we're going to write some words with those ers. So the first one I want you to write is er, the er of hurt. What are you going to write, class? Very good, er, the er of hurt. So write it and say it while you write it. All right, class, this is our er, the er of hurt. All right, so if you didn't have this, then write it in and say it while you write it. All right, now we're going to use our er, the er of hurt to write some words. So let's start with the word hurt. Class, what's our word? Good, hurt. What sounds do we hear in the word hurt? Excellent, the sounds are hurt. And we know that we're going to use er, the er of hurt. All right, so one more time before you write it, what sounds are you going to write? Good, and er, the er of hurt. All right, so write the sounds in that word and say them while you write them. All right, and when you're finished, put your pencil down and look at me so I know I'm ready to move on. All right, class, put your finger under the first phonogram in hurt. And I'm going to leave a clock space, of course, after my phonogram. What do I need to write to spell it? Good. Good. Which er is it? Right. It's say silly, Mrs. No, it's er the er of hurt, since we're writing the word hurt. And what's last? Excellent. All right. So make sure your hurt looks like mine. All right, now we're, we know we're going to underline our er, the er of hurt to show that those letters work together to make that sound. And let me get that glare off of our hurt so that we can read our word that we just worked so hard to write. So we'll say the sounds and then put them together. Good, let's do that one more time because my finger was out of the camera. Excellent job, class. All right, now let's write another word that uses our er, the er of hurt. We're going to write the word burn. What's the word? Good, burn. Be careful you do not burn yourself on the hot pan. Burn. What sounds do we hear in the word burn? Excellent. Our sounds are b, er, n. So, but we're going to use er, the er of hurt. All right, so one more time, what are we going to write to spell burn? Good, and our er is excellent. Er, the er of hurt. So write the sounds in burn and say them while you write them. All right, so I'll leave a clock space and tell me what I need to write to spell burn. Good, b, er, and which er is it? Good, er, the er of hurt. And good, n as our last sound. Right, so make sure your word looks like mine. All right, and let's, oh my goodness, what do I need to do to our word? 
You're right. I forgot to underline this and show that they go together to make that sound. That would make it hard to read, wouldn't it? Or harder. All right, now let's read our word. Excellent job, class. All right. So that's now let's go on to another one of our ers. All right, let's start with er, the er of bird. What's our next phonogram that we're going to write? Very good, er, the er of bird. So remember to leave a clock space. So I might write that in just because I'm, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. All right, and now write your er, the er of bird. All right, when you're finished, put your pencil down and put the phonogram, put your finger under the phonogram you just wrote. Class, what is it? Oh, er, the er of bird. All right, let me write that. Er, the er of bird. All right, so make sure you have this er, the er of bird. All right. And we'll leave another clock space because we're going to write a couple words now using our earlier of bird. All right. Um, and I know we did some of these yesterday because I just posted the video I did for second grade. Um, so thank you for being patient because sometimes it helps us if we spell a word more than one time. All right. So our first word we're going to write for earlier of bird is of course bird. All right. Class, what sounds do we hear in the word bird? Excellent. The sounds are b, er, d. All right. And our er we're going to use is er, the er of bird. All right. So one more time, what are we going to write to spell bird? Great. B, er, d. And er, the er of bird. All right, write bird and say the sounds while you write them. All right, class, if, you, if you're not finished, you can go ahead and pause it until you are. What do I need to write to spell bird, class? Good, B, which starts at the top baseline close to, here it would be close to where my clock stroke is. All right, what's next? Good, er, the er of bird. And good, D, which of course we remember as a clock stroke letter. All right, so make sure your bird looks like mine. We're going to underline our er, the er of bird. So we remember those two letters work together to make that sound. Now let's read our word. All right, wonderful job, class. We're going to write one more word with er, the er of bird, and that is the word girl. What's our word? Good, girl. Um, my brother's baby is a girl. What sounds do you hear in the word girl? Excellent job. The sounds are g, er, ol. But this er is er, the er of bird. All right, so before you write it one more time, tell me the sounds you're going to write. Excellent. And which er? Good, er, the er of bird. So write girl and say the sounds while you write them. All right, class, when you're finished, put your pencils down. And tell me what I need to write. Just spell girl. Good, go. Which er am I going to use? 
Good. Er, the er of bird. And what's the last sound? Good. Oh. All right. So make sure yours looks like mine. And then we'll underline our phonogram to show those two letters work together to make that sound er. And let's read the word we just wrote. All right, wonderful job, first grade. Um, keep up the hard work. I'm really proud of you.